Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert, that's me. This video contains things that I tinker with throughout the day. For step-by-step -step detailed instructions of those tasks, you can click on the link in the comment section below. I plan on leaving this video accessible for about 30 days. After that, you can view it through my Patreon account. This video also has tips and tricks that I've learned over the years. So, thank you very much for watching. Back here at the donor card, almost finished with this. I have the rear brake pads to do. I have the seats to swap. Not much better on that. And I have the fuel filter to replace, which I think I'll do later. But right now, I'm going to get these uh, rear brake pads replaced. Get the seat swapped out. Then I'll catch up to her later with that fuel filter. I'm going to break these lug nuts loose. Do this driver's side first. Then do the passenger side. I got the parking brake set. After the wheels off, they're kind of like the front pads. So anyway, I'm going to spread the uh, compressed the caliper with the brake pads on. Put a screwdriver in there, pry it open. Then I'm going to take these two nuts loose, drop them out. Here's the new pads. Little dingy looking pads. But these are for your all-wheel drive cars. Let me go ahead and pry those open and get those pads out of there. Those two bolts are 13s. So you pull those out. Then the caliper comes right off. As you can see, I already compressed it. You want to make sure it's not damaged. And then the pins are in here. So you could take the boots loose and grease those pins. Clean and grease those up. So, and there's the pads. Well, heck, that pad actually has a lot of life left on it. A lot more than I thought. Huh. I think I'm gonna leave those on there and run them down some more. Let me compare them to the other ones. Do do do. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and replace them. That way, I ain't gotta worry about them. Well, heck, these pads actually have a squeal uh, shim on there, so they'll squeal when they get low. And the new Ikebono pads have them on there as well, so these will squeal when they get too low. Next up, replacing these seats. Pulled the cap off of that, pulled the two front bolts. I'm going to roll the seat forward, disconnect the seat belt, get this, oh, I unplugged it. I got to plug it back in and roll it forward. Then pull this up, put the safety in it, take the uh, deal off the seat belt. See, these seats are all eaten up and torn up, so the ones I got's a little better. Got the safety out of there, put it in place, it looks like a T50 maybe, then I get to get the rear bolts up. So we swapped out this seat and this seat for this seat and that seat. A lot better but not perfect. You can always get skins from Swedish car parts. And that's where I put the timing belt sticker. Short of this car burning the valve, which it probably won't since she drives kind of passive. This thing ought to last a good long time. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.